Hi everyone, welcome back to the Get A Breed channel. Today we're in our brewery and we're checking out this beautiful Spidal brewing equipment. So we've worked with Spidal for quite a while and they've very kindly sent us a nice new setup. Uh, it's the Spidal Browmeister Pro 20 litre, um, the full cool fermentation kit, including a stainless steel conical fermenter and the Linder chiller, and all the nice accessories that come along with it. So just want to take you through it. So first off, let's have a look at the Spidal Browmeister Pro 20 litre. So we have a hood on the top, it's an accessory. This allows you to create a chimney um, for your brew shed so you can attach some tubing. And obviously during the boil process, it allows you to extract the, uh, the steam, the boil off, out through um, a chimney that you can create in your brew shed. So we'll just pop this to one side. The actual um, Pro um, Spidal Browmeister is of exceptional build quality. I mean, super robust. Really, you can tell that this is thick stainless steel. You can tell that everything's very robustly made. Um, nice sort of um, rubber handles on here to prevent any heat transfer coming from the main kettle. You can see the dimple jacket around the outside here. This is um, allowing you to do the cooling. And just on the back, you can see, I'll see if I can twist this around for you. So I've added this little extra, which is a magnetic solenoid basically for controlling the flow of the cool water that's gonna go in to help you chill the beer that's within in the all-in-one brewing system. So um, that's the outlook from the front. We can see we have um, a tap on the front here. Um, again, really strong, robust, nice, you know, smooth action. Touchscreen control panel here which allows you to have saved recipes um, to control the pump and to control the temperature, um, do all sorts of step mashing. And it, it is um, in a position that allows you to program it so that it automates a lot of what you do. Now, if we take a look around this side of the system, you can see here that we have a sample tap here, a really good quality pump. Uh, connected in multiple places and then the control panel which is here you can see that I've been able to drop in the little cooling solenoid, the power cable, temperature cable in here um, so everything's actually really easily accessible. One point just to raise is the one that we've been sent here has an EU plug. I would suggest um, as with all all-in-one brewing systems, you buy one and it comes with an EU plug because it's manufactured in the EU. Um, usually you can change the cable connector to a UK plug. If not, make sure that you're getting a qualified electrician. Remove the EU plug and get them to add a UK plug. The reason for that is we would suggest that given the power that's being drawn from these, you do not want to use an adapter and also please do not use extension leads whenever brewing with all in one brewing systems as a general rule. Just a little tip to, to give a little bit of extra safety. Okay, so let's have a look inside the, the main body of the vessel. So we can see there's a center post here and a coil along the, the bottom there. So that is your um, heating coil, which is coming up into the, the body. And then this is obviously there for stability for the, the grain basket. Now, Green basket, I'll just bring this around here, has multiple layers of filtration. So it has this one, 
and then it also has another plate of a similar type and then two really fine meshes. I think that's a great idea because obviously it's going to give you a much clearer wart whenever you're doing your, your brew. So you can see here, this is your grain basket, it has the heat tolerant uh, rubber in the bottom to prevent stainless rubbing on stainless. It has these nice little nodules to allow it to sit on top of the, uh, the actual all-in-one system. So this is um, an item just pops on there, sits on here. Then obviously whenever you're doing, once your initial mash is finished, and you're drawing drawing out with the use of, of this, sorry, this, <laughs> and to lift out. You can see at the moment there that that's moving around. That will not move around when this is in the bottom of it because the center post is there and that holds it nice and stable. So just pop the first um, filtration plate, <laughs> the first filtration plate in there, and then the second one just pops on top of that. So uh, the reason that this is threaded on the top is just once you've got your uh, grain in and the mash is on, you just secure this in place. It keeps the grain basket nice and tight and secure. But it's not going to move anywhere. So if we remove the securing bar there just with the wing nut on the top, whenever you go to lift this out, this little device here just catches the hooks. So you can see that there's multiple stages at which you can lift this up. So you can lift it up um, to the first stage to allow some of the wort to drain out of the grain basket. And then you can lift it up to the next stage. And as I'd mentioned uh, to you earlier there, you can see that that's sitting nice and stable now that it's got the bottom plates in it. And the build quality on this is the, the one thing that you know I really want to highlight. It's not flimsy. It's, it's, uh, thick stainless, it's very robust. It feels like every movement has purpose, if that makes sense. Um, you know, you, you can feel that this is a premium quality all-in-one home brewing system. I like the fact that it's got the jacket built in, which means you don't need to put an immersion chiller in. And I like the fact that everything connects back to this control panel um, on the front. Comes with a few lids. This is the lid that comes as standard with the all-in-one system. So once you've cleaned up for the day, you'll pop this lid on. It's got a nice little heat tolerant handle on it. And this lid here is a um, lid that can attach to obviously turn it into a fermenter. That this screws off. Then obviously your bubbler airlock is going to pop on there. And this is obviously just going to clamp onto the top of the Wow, <laughs> so there's no danger of anything getting in there. You can see that that's a really nice tight fit. So in theory, um, you can use this as a, a genuinely complete all-in-one brewing system where you can mash, filter, boil, ferment all in the one vessel. Um, it's something I've never tried before. And I, I would always prefer, you know, to finish my brew day put the brew in the fermenter, take it from there, but this just shows you another option. Okay, so next item to look at is the 30 um, liter stainless steel conical fermenter. Um, it is a really nice piece of kit. It's got stainless steel legs, obviously the cylindrical conical uh, base on it. Two really, you know, high quality um, ball valves. You can feel the movement with purpose. You can actually feel that the the circular valve in the middle is, is just moving nice and slick as you do that. We've got a sampling tap on the front, obviously, where you just turn the little dial to be able to draw a sample off to take gravity readings throughout fermentation. It's got the, the jacket, uh, which is just a dimple jacket on uh, with a flow and return. So uh, the cooling fermentation kit that comes with the Linder Chiller, uh, the stainless steel conical FE with the dimple jacket, um, obviously that's connected via hose lock connections to the, the dimple jacket. You can see the lid obviously comes on and off just really easily using this to, you know, there's a, a connecting bar inside there. Um, and as you put that on, you tighten that up, this pops up to create a nice good seal um, with the conical fermenter. 
I have to say, I am impressed with the Spidal Homebrew kit. It is premium end of things, um, attracts a premium price point obviously, but the build quality is that what you would expect from German engineering. It's very purposeful, very strong, very robust, very thoughtful. Um, there's a nice uh, flow with the equipment. You can see the, you know, the technology is there as well to back all this up. Lots of nice extras, but if this is where you're jumping into all-in-one brewing, make sure you give yourself a, you know, a few hours or a day even to get everything set up and to make sure everything's clean and ready for use. It didn't take us that long to put this all together, but you would imagine if it's totally new to you and you'd never opened one of these boxes before, that you would um, need a little bit of time to figure out where everything goes and read the instruction leaflets. But I have to say, multilingual instruction leaf leaflets with the chiller and with the all-in-one system, step-by-step -step guides, really helpful information to allow you to get going and homebrewing successfully using the Spidal Browmeister kit. So we're obviously an official Spidal distributor for UK and Ireland. We have um, the ability to supply this in the EU and and UK markets. If you're wanting to get yourself a starter kit and you need some extras or you want to have a chat about what extras you think you would need, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll happily give you some technical advice and assistance in making the right choices. Um, if you're buying one of these kits off the off, um, you will need a few um, extras, a little bit of extra hose and some quick, quick release fittings just to make things really simple. But we have all that under the one roof here at Getter Brood. So uh, so that's the Spidal Browmeister Pro and the Cool Fermentation Starter Kit that we've checked out today. We're going to be doing a brew on this real soon and we're going to share that with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. We'd really appreciate it if you'd give us a subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when we release new content. We're always keen and eager to hear your feedback on what content you would like to see. We're investing a lot of time and effort into producing these videos so that you guys get to see great equipment, see great breweries. Check out the how-to videos and just generally help the homebrew community become a better place with great content. So thanks for watching today and until next time, happy brewing.